Taurus is one of the most interesting and diverse moons in the entire Juno system. With many unique biomes and methane oceans, getting to this moon is highly sought after. So let me show you how to get there. Pre-flight checklist. Before we launch ourselves towards Taurus, here are some things you need to know. First of all, Taurus has a very thick atmosphere. This means you don't need to bring much fuel because its atmospheric drag is going to slow us down a lot. In fact, if your lander is light enough, you can probably land on monopropellant. You could also land by parachute, and it doesn't have to be big because the atmosphere is so thick. So let's move to the launch. For the launch, I'm going to be using this very overkill rocket I made just for this video. And of course, I'll put the link to download this rocket in the description. As for how much delta V you might need, my rocket has 11 kilometers a second of delta V, so I'd recommend around 10 to 12 kilometers just to be safe. This is probably overkill though. As for liftoff, we're of course going to be launching to the east, and once we've gotten to a stable low drew orbit, we're going to unpack our satellite and get ready for our transfer burn to Eurados, which is of course the parent of Taurus. Unlike with the video on Scyther, I'm going to show you a different way to transfer to planets. This should in theory save you a little bit of delta V. Instead of firing our engine to get into the Sun Juno's orbit, to then do a second burn to get to the planet, we're going to cut out the second step and just burn from Drew to the planet. This will allow us to take advantage of Drew's gravity, which will let us use our fuel more efficiently to transfer to Eurados. So let's start by setting up our maneuver node around Drew. We're going to select Taurus of course, or you can select Eratos, it really doesn't matter right now. And I'm going to be setting up my maneuver node on my apoapsis because it's opposite to Eratos. And then we're going to start setting up our maneuver node to intercept Eratos. Eratos is the furthest away body in the entire Juno system, so it's going to take quite a while to transfer once we've set up our maneuver node. Once we've configured our maneuver node to get to the perfect transfer, we're going to lock it, hit the rocket engine icon, and then fast forward to the maneuver node. Once we've done our first burn, we may need to do a second burn, such as I did, this should only cost a few hundred meters of delta V, and it should finally push us into the sphere of influence of Eurados. Once we've found ourselves in the clutches of Eurados, I decided I wasn't going to do a retrograde to get into Eurados orbit, but I decided to instantly set up a Taurus maneuver node, and then we're going to slow ourselves down once we've reached Taurus. This should be relatively easy, though Taurus does have a very small sphere of influence, so just be mindful of that. Took me a lot of tweaking, but I eventually got it. So let's begin our burn towards Taurus. And finally, welcome to Taurus's sphere of influence. We're of course going to do the normal, go to its periapsis, and then we can do our retrograde burn, which will finally bring us into Taurus orbit. Congrats if you made it to Taurus orbit, now I'm going to show you how to land. Taurus is probably one of the easiest places to land on in the entire Juno system. This is because it has a relatively low gravity, coupled with a very thick atmosphere. We can use the thick atmosphere for about 90% of our slowing down, and the last 10% we can use either parachutes, propellers, or rocket engines. We can even glide if we have a plane. So all you need to do is have your craft slightly heat resistant, though for some crafts you don't even have to have them heat resistant at all. As you can see with my satellite here, it just enters the atmosphere and it slows down enough to survive re-entry. And it doesn't have any heat protection whatsoever. Then all you need to do is softly touch down and you have reached Taurus's surface. Now that you've landed on Taurus, there are many different ways we can get around the planet. For example, jet engine, propellers, rocket engines, and rovers. Everything works here. Even boats because Taurus has giant methane oceans and lakes. The thick atmosphere may slow you down a bit with planes, but you can do extremely short takeoffs and you don't need much power to fly. Now let's go over some of the notable locations.
And there you have it, hopefully you have all the tools you need to start your Taurus journey. As always, I'd like to give a massive thanks to our Patreons for supplying the funding to the music you can hear in this video. And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.